This looks more fancy than my morning uh, coffee mug that I use, Matt. It might be. It might be. <laughs> but you know what? It's just it's just black coffee. Is this drip or is this? Uh, this is pour over. Pour so over. it's a okay. paper filtered. It, you could call this drip, but it's it's a uh, pour over. Cheers. Cheers. To me, it almost has the lightness of a tea. Am I off base? That's, no, you're not off base. Okay. Uh, some of the fancier and. Uh, you know, higher quality coffees tend to be almost Ethiopian like. All coffee originally comes from Ethiopia. A lot of Ethiopian coffees have a tea, bergamot like finish to them. That's a good thing. So we're here at uh, Proud Mary off of Alberta. I'm told they do a wonderful breakfast, by the way. But today we're focusing on coffee. And Matt, you, can I say, you specialize in purchasing coffee beans from some of the finest growers in Panama of all places. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We we buy coffee from a range of producers in Panama. We've been most of them. We've been buying coffee since about 2011, 2012. Uh, this one right here, for example, is uh, a producer we've been working with for a while, and it's a geisha variety coffee. It's an heirloom variety that actually came over from Ethiopia originally. Um, it found its way into Central America. It almost got eradicated in the 1960s because it had low yield, and the business farmers wanted to get rid of it. But there was one farm in Panama that kept it around. Since then. And it has literally captivated everybody's attention. It doesn't taste like coffee. When you put it on a table with all these other coffees, the geisha variety tastes different. When you come to Proud Mary, you can get a coffee menu. I like this. Is, is what I'm drinking on this menu? Oh, uh, that's right. right. Yeah, so it'll be on the back side. It's on the back. So this that's is the, the expensive side. That's the expensive <laughs> side. That's the deluxe coffee side. This is a very um, awarded producer. Uh, from Panama, the Lamasis family. And this is, so if I'm reading this right, this is $12, is that right? That's right. And so it's, this is an experience. This is not- This is an experience. I gotta gulp this down so I'm fired up and ready to go to work. You I mean, can do that You can too. do that, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Geisha, Black, Jaguar, Finca, how you say that word? Garen, oh boy. Guarumo. Yes. This is the best of Panama 2022 first place winner. That's can right. I say this is judged to be one of the finest pours in the entire world over the last year. Judged to be one of the finest coffees in the world in the past year. $150 to enjoy a fuller cup or this size A little bit cup? fuller cup. This is, they, they so. split this brew amongst three of us, so. You bought a pound? A pound, one pound. And what did that cost? $2,000. $2,000 for a pound of coffee. That's right. But we're gonna taste the 119 here in a minute. And it's not the same, but it's pretty close. It's also exceptional. We sell these tins. Oh, okay. If this were a pound of coffee, it'd be about a $300 bag of coffee. So we sell these tins Crazy. for like more like 30 to 40 bucks. And that's a way for people to get into this higher end coffee without yeah. biting off too much. I think, unfortunately, coffee is one of those things that we all drink every day, but we don't think too much about where it's grown, how sure. it's produced, how hard it is to produce it, and also what it costs. And we just go pay four or five bucks for the coffee, which is fine. But if we dug a little deeper and we started to kind of pay attention to some of the people that produce it and some of the effort that goes into it, you realize it's worth a lot more than what gets paid for it. We like to say, well, you can do the $4 thing for sure, but down here, if you're curious, we're gonna show you what an $8 cup of coffee looks like. We're gonna show you what a $10 cup of coffee looks like. We're gonna also, if you're interested, 12 to 15, and you see for yourself. You should treat yourself to a fine coffee experience. If you like liqueurs or fine wines, it's time to step into the fine coffee arena, I think. Thank you again. Cheers, thank you.